from the looks of the movie, majority of people, despite, you know, Christianity not being the most, like, the biggest religion in the world, somehow most people on earth are saved. Yes, are perfect Christians. Most Christians are saved at least seemingly more than half of Christians are saved because the Pete, like the famous scene where they're in the mall in right. the Nicholas Cage yeah. left behind and suddenly like two thirds of the mall disappears. <laughs> like somehow that many people lived more Christian lives than like a pastor who yep. doubted his faith once. Yep. That's so true. It's, like a weird, I mean, and in a way that is like the motivating factor behind, like in a way that that's like a motivating factor for a lot of people who believe in this is that, oh, everybody else is doing it right, but I'm not. Like yeah. I'm not good enough because that's the very person true. next to me is praying harder. Yes. No matter how hard you pray, no matter how early you get up, there's somebody else out there getting up earlier and praying harder. Do <laughs> yeah. one of those. We should remake this tape so it's like a grind set. Yeah. Like oh, motivational smart. YouTube yeah. video. So we keep with the like video keep zooming in and out of your face. <laughs> yeah. I'll have like Hans Zimmer playing in the background. Oh, you said 50 Hail Marys? <laughs> well, the nun over there said 100 Hail Marys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And in a way, it's like kind of makes you think about the Mormon thing of like, there's only a hundred thousand people allowed. Yeah. Like, are they going to run out of room in heaven? Is that why we can let like all these people up, but not like the fucking priest who runs the soup kitchen for some reason? Right. Um, but half the people who ride public transportation in America are like better <laughs> Christians than them. Yeah. 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 Very no judgment on people who take public transportation, but. Mm. You're telling me that diverse of a collective somehow is better Christians, according to this, than the priest who was yeah. one day was like, hmm, maybe this stuff isn't true. And then was like, nah, it's true. Yeah. That, that that's, disqualifies That's you. what there's. It doesn't seem plausible to me. Yeah. Literally guys on the bus with mirrors on their shoes so they can look up the skirts of other people. Of women are like being raptured over a priest who one time said the F word. I I challenge anyone to go into a store or public space and just look around and be like, are these people really going to heaven? <laughs> and I'm saying have that same level of judgment on yourself. I'm not saying, you know, think you are going to, but yeah. just be real. Take a look around you. I I was in I was in Target like two weeks ago and I looked around me and I felt like legit depressed. <laughs> I, I was just like, these people, I was like, wow, like, that was like the human race is really bad. <laughs> no yeah. one was doing any, by the way, no one was doing anything like particularly like aggressive or whatever. I just, you know, I felt my own vacancy. I felt the void in myself and I saw it in everyone else. And I was like, we are an abomination. Yeah. Well, we've been set up to fail. <laughs> right. We've been set up to but fail. But we're also too big to fail. We are too big to fail. So I think God's going to bail us out. And size doesn't matter. See, I'm getting all these conflicting messages. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard. How, how, as a man, how do you get along? 